Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here in Ontario with the WBC World Champion at 154 pounds, Mr. Tony Harrison, who looks to defend his title against Jamel Charlo this weekend on Fox. It's been a, a year since uh, we were supposed to get this fight. Uh, you've been through a lot, uh, a lot happened just now. Um, I guess, how are you feeling coming into this fight uh, mentally and emotionally? I mean, I, f I feel good uh, that that year off, uh it kind of hurt me, but it kind of helped me too. You know what I mean? I was kind of getting tired of of pounding my body and pounding the pavement for the pennies I was kind of getting. You know what I mean? So it's 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 been good, man. I got a time to enjoy my family for for once, and I get ready to jump up and get ready for another training camp. So I got to, I had time to enjoy my family, enjoy the people around me, relish uh, being a champ for a year, and um, now we back here and do and we're here to do it one more time. Refresh you in a way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was it was, it was definitely refreshing, man. It was refreshing, man. My body took a I, you know, I've been going back to back back to back back to back for about 20 years. So, um it it was it was good to finally kind of get a year of rest. What happened up there? I know uh you guys uh, almost got into it. Uh what what caused all that? Um he don't like me, I don't like him. Um I feel like it's, a, it's, it's, it's enough to do the talking from both of us. Once he started like moving his hands and kind of like putting his hands, like feeling my, you know what I'm saying, in my area, in my space, I feel like that was just like ultimate disrespect. I think he was trying to punk me. You know, that's just how I felt. You know what I mean? Like when somebody's doing talking, it's cool, I'm cool, I'm gonna talk my shit back. Once you start moving your hands and start putting your shit closer to my face, it becomes disrespect. You know what I mean? There's no way I'm gonna do. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. We with this fight to be canceled before I let somebody disrespect me. And, that, and that's what happened. I think he was moving his hand. I felt sort of in my in my in my temperament in my little cool space. And it did feel like it was just disrespectful, man. You know what I mean? Like I, I never I never let nobody put their hands in my face. You know what I mean? I started it started getting disrespectful, and I started fucking that up. And he fucked that up. You spent some time in Tampa to prepare for this fight. The decision to go to Tampa, what do you think it's brought out of you and improved in you as a fighter coming into this rematch? Um, I think it brought my team closer together. I think me and my team uh, had time to spend a month and a half together, which was a good thing. You know, nobody went home to their to they, to they families. You know, we all went home together. We all, con you know, conversed together. We all ate together. And it just brought us closer together. I think, I think when, when, you're a, when you're a boxer, you got to have a good team around you. It's not about you. In general, it's about having a good team around you. Me and my team, we, we click, we talked every day, you know, and it's not something that we normally do. We know we don't normally talk every day or communicate every day, but we had no choice to stand in the same house and we communicated, we talked, we woke up, we ran together, we rode in the same cars together. So all that energy was, was passed in every, every single way, you know what I mean? It was cool, man, and I loved it. I know the big question that uh, a lot of fans will have following this storyline uh, with you and uh, Jermel is the ankle. How was the ankle during camp? How did it feel? Um, for everybody to stop asking me this question, I'm the ultimate competitor. If I'm not 100%, you wouldn't even catch me here right now. If I'm not fit to fight, if I'm not fit to win, because that's all I'm doing. The only thing I'm going out here to do right now is to win. If, I'm not, if I don't feel like I'm fit to win, I'm not going to do it. If I don't feel like I can beat you in it, I'm not going to race you. If I feel like I'm not fast enough, I'm not going to race you. If I feel like I can't jump out here, I'm not going to jump. But if I'm ready, if I, if I feel like I could do it, I'm going to do it. And my body's telling me right now, it's, it's nothing more f challenging right now, nothing more fiery than, than my men right now to fight again right now. And I'm, I'm fired up. And all he did was fire me up a little more with, with this shit on stage. And I'm fired, man. I'm ready, I'm ready to go. So what happens on Saturday? I'm going to win. That's, that's the name of the game. But I see an inch. An uh, inch, not a mile. If I see an inch that I can stop this motherfucker, I'm going to stop him. I'm going to stop. I'm going to go ball so hard and I'm going to stop his ass. I'm going to put a stamp on it. Can't wait, Tony. I know a lot of fans are looking forward to this fight because of the uh, trash talk back and forth. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it. This Saturday on Fox, this man defends his 154-pound title against Ramel Charlo.